I'm starting. All right, yesterday we did some multiplication. I have chosen solution. All right, take out that work because I have to collect it every single day. All right, and I want to ask you if does anybody have any particular question? Yes, sir, thank you. Which one? 30? Okay, so here we go. We've got, is this right, two-thirds times A times B times C, which is kind of annoying, all right? It's kind of annoying because you have to multiply four things together. The positive thing about it is there should be a lot of reducing, all right? So what I want to do is I'm going to make myself some room here, all right, before we do this. All right, so here we go. Let's take a look at 30. All right. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to tell me, uh, so two-thirds times A, 10 times B. Now, instead of writing 3 and 1 eighth, do we agree? Can we just change it? So we're going to make it an improper fraction. So that's going to be negative 25 divided by 8. You agree with that? Happy? Okay. So let's go times negative 25 over 8. And I don't need that parenthesis. I'm just going to All right, come on, come on, listen to me. Hey, hey, face the front now. Come on, I don't want you to distract. I want you to learn. All right, if you want to drag your desk over here and sit over there, that's fine. All right, so two-thirds times 10 over 24 times negative 25 over 8 times C, which is what? All right, so let's continue. Times negative 4 over 5. Now, the first thing I always try to do is I try to tell kids is you should look to see if it's positive or negative first. And the answer is obviously the answer is what? Positive, right? You agree? Positive. So I'm just going to change this so I don't get confused. Now I'm just looking to reduce as quickly as I can, as much as I can. The 5, I see right off the bat, and that is 5. The 4 can be a 1, and the 8 can be a 2. Now I'm looking right here, look. 2 and 2. Did I do that? Now I can do 10 and 24. Don't forget. 2 goes into 10 how many times? 5, and 2 goes into 24, 12. Do I see anything else on the top and the bottom that can produce? I don't see it, right? So now you got to just observe carefully. 5 and 5 makes 25. And then 12 times 3, 36. Is everybody happy with that? 25 over 36. Agree? Very happy, Thomas? All right. Good job. All right. Anybody else would like me to do a problem from last night before I collect? Remember, no excuses on homework. Why is it um, positive? Because because there were two negatives. A negative times a negative is a what? That's correct. All right. Anybody else? All good. All right. So if you can do multiplication, guess what division is. Just multiplication, except you multiply by the, multiply by the, what was the rule? No, multiply by the reciprocal. Thank you very much. All right, so please do me this favor now. Make sure your name's on your homework. All right, make sure your name's on your homework, and then you can head your new paper. All right, we're on section 3-4. All right, you can run and grab it.
some trouble with this and it's unacceptable. Or sure you work like everybody else. You call it front desk, you're supposed to do the good enough. It's called sloppy for you. Now remember, I do not post the answers so you can write the answers. Right? I have to see the word. Yes, that's awesome. Does everybody else, do I have everybody now? Does everybody give me their homework? What? No, you're not using that for No reason to. All right, we got to work on our mental math. All right, posting is not that hard. All right, but we would be using that. All right, head your paper now. 1 through 39, here we go. Again, super easy. Super, super easy. Now, again, remember, dividing fractions. To solve a division, you just multiply by the reciprocal. All right? So now, question number one. It just says, find the multiplicative inverse. That's a fancy word for... Reciprocal. That's exactly what it is. Fancy word for what? Reciprocal. All right. When you do the inverse, you're canceling something out. All right. So hear me out now. All right. So what would be the multiplicative inverse for six sevens? Yes. Come on, guys. Seven six. Now let me make uh Bradley make sure he understands me. Are you allowed to just write the answer for this problem? Yes. yes. Yes, because you can. Right? There are some multiplication or division problems you're just going to know what the answer is. Most of them you are not. I'm expecting you to write them down. Everybody with me? All right? No shortcuts. All right? Now we have a problem with number two because it's a mixed fraction. I must change it first to a improper. And when I change it to improper, that will be what, guys? What? What? What is it? Thank you. Negative what? Wait, wait. Negative is correct. Negative what? Well, okay, I'm asking you yes, but I want you to give me the mixed fraction first, which was negative 11 over 2. So you guys were correct. I didn't realize you were giving me the answer. Sorry. So the first thing I said was convert it to an uh, improper fraction. Now, you convert that to the uh, reciprocal, which is what? All right, I'm with you now. All right, everybody good? Now, remember what I tried to tell some of you guys. Some of you guys, you know, I'm a little loud, so you get kind of a little, oh, so loud. Speak up. If you don't know something, I'm on question number two. If you wait to question 12 before you ask me a question, now I can't, it's, it's frustrating for me. All right? So speak up if you're not sure. All right, here we go. Number three. Ooh, this is a good one. Yeah, see how simple that is? Negative 1 over 63. Does it really matter where the negative goes? As long as you have what? 1. As long as you have one negative, you're in good shape. Everybody happy? All right, here we go. Number four. I want you to write it first as mixed or as an improper, which would be 99 over 10. Come on, you guys. I want you guys to kind of talk together. All right? Talk together. So now that becomes what? There you go, guys. 10 over 99. And no one in here cares if you don't know something. All right? You got to speak up. You good? I can't individually help you. All right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we'll be simplifying all fractions all the time. Okay? Number five, what's the reciprocal? Come on, everybody. Negative what? Yes, negative one over 101. Right? If you're not sure, remember that's just over one. Everybody good? That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing mentally right now. We're doing it mentally. Right, I'm not asking you to write all that out. 
All right, number six, just like now on your paper, you just have to write what? Yeah, all you have to do is write 35 over 11. This is easy, I told you. Very easy. Well, eventually we're going to get to the actual division problems, but we did those to make sure you know you have to multiply by the reciprocal. All right, so here we go. Let's look at number seven. All right, and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this down just to make sure you guys hear me out. I'm going to make this this way. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put it down here on the page. But I just think it's important to, I don't want to, so I'm very short. Okay, so now let's talk right here. What do I do to solve this? Times, times, yeah, 9 over 8. Now listen, Bradley, this is the only thing you have to write down. You don't have to write the original. Everybody with me? You don't have to write the original. Just write the multiplication. All right? Understood, right? No, I'm saying this was the original problem. Well, in order to do the problem, you've got to do times the reciprocal. Yes, thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Multiply by the reciprocal of the one on the right. After the division is the one you take the reciprocal. No, no, you do not. Very good question. Multiplication is boom, just leave it alone. Division is the one you have to change. Okay? So here we go. Can I reduce anything? What can I reduce? Yeah, now, remember what I tried to tell you. I think the most important thing is to first tell me is it positive or negative. Negative. All right, now let's reduce. One, two. Somebody tell me the final answer is? Negative nine over ten. Anybody have any issues with that? Everybody good? Good for you. I don't know what that means. Now listen to me, because you haven't had me before. Listen, if I say that's the answer, you can put money on it. That's the answer. You don't have to do anything else. You with me? I promise you, that's the answer. If there was a quicker way, guess what? I would show you. The better way, I would show you. The faster way, I would show you. That's the only way I know to do that. All right? Some kids think they can do it in their head, but they make all kinds of mistakes. I don't want you to do that. All right? So now everybody together. Negative 5 over 7 times what? 35 times 2. 35 over 2. Beautiful. Now what reduces? 7 and 35, so that 7 becomes a, 35 becomes a, final answer. Thank you very much. Negative 25 over 2. Can you leave it as an improper fra fraction for me? Yes. Yes, you can, because we're advanced. All right, advanced, you leave as improper fractions. You leave as improper. All right, if you wrote it as a mixed fraction, negative 12 and a half, I'd still be fine. I'm just saying, just leave it as the improper. Leave it as improper. Do you have any complaints with that? All right, let's check out number nine. Uh-oh. So this would be four ninths times what? Yes, negative one half. Does everybody see? Because negative two is the same as two over one. I'm not sure what you're asking me. You change division for what? Multiplication, and then you do the what? Reciprocal. You hear me, right? Can I reduce anything? Is the answer positive or negative? The 2 goes to a, 4 goes to a, final answer. Negative 2 over 9. All right, now I've done enough examples. You guys should be going, okay, I got this. What? And so, so, like, we're going to do like a three problem. Yes, there's a three problem. Is one. it still on the one on the screen? You'll screen? see. You'll see. We'll get there. Uh, All right, you'll get there. No, no, because now we're going to do uh, 10 through 12. Yeah, we're not doing word problems. Next week, we'll have a test on word problems. All right. All right. So 
now. I want you to tell me about 10. What do I do? How do I write it? Good. Yes. Is my answer positive or negative? Good. Now what can I reduce? 7 becomes A. And then 14 becomes A. Final answer? You're awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Exactly. No, we've got another one right up here. Carmen is up. Number 11. Boom. Uh-oh. What do you have to do for this? Change this to a... Good job. Negative 11 over 5. Now I'm going to write divided by first. What does that do? You're awesome, girl. Negative 11 over 3. Now what? You are awesome. Now look and tell me is the answer positive or negative? You're awesome. Now what crosses out? Yeah, yeah, good job. So final answer is? Three over what? Look careful. Yes, beautiful. Three over five. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Three over five. Good? No. What? Yes. All right. Come on. Change it to. Sixty-four over divided by right, right, good, 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 good. and. Now remember, dividing by 4, this is the Dividing by 4 is dividing by 2 twice. So I think 64 divided by 2 is easy. What's 64 divided by 2? 32 divided by 2. Does everybody see that? I'd much rather, anytime I divide by 4, I'd much rather divide by 2 twice. Is everybody good on this? Or I just think it's easier. Alright? So that becomes a 16, and this becomes a 4 divided by 4 is 1. Now listen to me. Do you understand what I said? Dividing by 4 is the same as divided by 2 twice. Alright, so final answer. Yes. Beautiful. Everybody agree with me? That's not bad. Alright, so here we go. No. You need the numerator or the denominator out in front. Most of the time it's on the top or on the front. Normally it doesn't go on the bottom. But I wouldn't be wrong. Okay, so now... That brings me to no word problems. All right, now put a star here. Here's where we're doing some good algebra stuff. All right, so I want everybody especially to pay attention here. Big day for us, algebra. Here we go, let me post it. All right, now I'm going to get rid of this above it. I should have included that. All right. Okay. Does the rule change at all because there's letters? Yeah. No. All right, Corey, what am I going to do first? Write it as 4AB over C times what? Times 2C over 3A. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, now I want everybody to write equals and then write a fraction. Okay. Now, do the numbers first. Can I reduce any of the numbers? Mm -hmm. So then the fraction without all the letters would just simply be what? Um, eight over three. Yes, very smart. Eight over three. Now if there's an A on the top and an A on the bottom, what do they do? They cross out. So A crosses out, A crosses out. So do the C's. So, do the C's. so where's the B left? On top, that's exactly correct. That was not hard. 8B over 3. 
What's the matter? With what? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Did you, did you, did you see me cross out the letters? Is that what you're confused about? You understand that, right? Remember, if, if there's a letter on the top and a letter on the bottom, cross it out. Okay, that's it. All right, Aiden, I want you to help me out with uh, 15. So I want you to write it for me. What do I write it as? Good job. Uh -oh. Now, do any of the numbers cross out? Well, I asked about the numbers, though. Oh. No, so your answer is 1 over what? Yes. Do you understand why there's a one there on the top, right? Because there's really a one here and a one here. One times one is still what? One. That's it. I'm not done with those yet. Or I'm just doing the numbers. Did you see that on the numbers, right? Okay, Abe, now what can can I cross the M's out? You can cross out the M's. Can I cross the N out? Can I cross the P out? Why did I put them on top? That's where they were. They were on the top. Yes, I told you. Very simple. All right, 16. So, yes, go. Beautiful. Can I reduce any of the numbers? The three and the six. The three becomes A, and the six becomes A. So now, what's left for the numbers? Over. Yay, good job, girl. Yes, they do. Oh, very good. Only one cross out of the time. You with me? So what is left on the top? And? What's on the bottom? And A? Yes, very good. Very good. That wasn't that bad. Did we good? That's not that bad. All right, fighting, multiply by others. Did we good? Okay, so let's go back and see if there's a problem. No. All right, so I'm happy. You guys, listen, you got time. So your job now is to do these problems and these problems. All right, you don't have to do the what? You don't have to do the word problems, kind of word problem test. Yes, sir. What I need you to do is you have to sit close to Brad. Okay, because I, I have to use my All right, so sit next to Brad. All right. Now, guys, you got time, so please, we're not wasting time. No chit chat. If you didn't bring your iPad and you want to share with somebody else, I'm totally fine with that. Did I post the answers? Yes. So you should be checking your answers. When I call your name, come get your homework. Okay? Brother, are you okay with him looking, right?